Hello, everyone. My name is Ricardo Hicks. I do apologize that I cannot be with you here right now, but we're going to go through a production plan. Now, this production plan is going to be centered around the story of Andy Ruiz Jr. Now, Andy Ruiz Jr. just beaten Anthony Joshua and became our WBA, WBO, IBF, IBO heavyweight champion of the world. So this production that we're going to run through today, our title is going to be called The Real Life Rocky Balboa. The reason why we call it the Rocky Balboa, a real life version of him, because we all know Sylvester Stallone played the character as he created the character in the 70s. And he's a very iconic person in not only cinema, but basically real life. So a lot of critics is calling Andy Ruiz Jr. a real life Rocky Balboa because of his upbringing, because of the things that happened in his life to becoming the heavyweight champion of the world. Now this is going to take place on June 1st and June 2nd. So we have a two day shoot. The first day shoot is going to be at Madison Square Garden. The reason is because that's where the fight takes place. We're going to do shooting before the fight and we're going to do shooting after the fight. Now the next day, which is June 2nd, we're going to do a shooting at the CrossFit Imperial Valley. The reason that why this is so significant because this is what Andy Ruiz Jr. trained at. This is where he learned as a boxer, and this is where he got trained to fight Anthony Joshua to eventually become our champion. Now, if we go later down in the plan, we do have um, people that can take care of the production scene. Now, this is their contact list. We have their name, the title, we have an email from them, and we have a telephone form. We have a director, a key grip, a camera operator, a boom operator, and a gaffer. Next, because we have great communication skills, we definitely have other liaisons as well. We have James Dolan. He is the CEO of the Madison Square Garden Company. We also have Oscar Vargas, who is the communicator liaison for Andy Ruiz Jr. Next, we have Aaron Armstrong. That is his travel agent because we do need to get him from California to Madison Square Garden, which is New York. And also, they're getting right back to California where we go to over there to talk to them as well. We also have Arsenio Parker, and that's the lawyer from as well. So we got have contact lists, and we also have key liaisons as well. Also, we do have a production gear. If you look on the uh, page, we have everything that we need in order. And just in case we need to rent anything, the three things we're going to rent is audio cable, teleprompter, and chairs for the interviewers to be comfortable. Now, if you look to your next page, this is the schedule that we're going to go by. The first day, we're going to start at 0800. Now, we'll go running and by military time. So, if you see things like 1300, 1500, just those are military times, and I'll further explain it for you. We're starting at 0800. I want the crew to arrive there at that time so we can set up and get everything ready for that production. We're going to go through uh, B roll. This is going to show all access of uh, Reese and Joshua. Interview with them. We're next going to show a B-roll of the venue, which is Master Square Garden. We're going to take lunch at 1 o'clock, which is 1300. We're also going to have another shot of the panel discussing the upcoming fight. Now, we're going to load up. We're going to leave, clean up at 530, which is 1730. And that's on the first day. Second day. It's basically the same thing, only we're going to just start an hour early. So, at 0700, I need everyone to come in and get everything loaded up. If you keep reading down, we're going to do things at CrossFit. That's our second location. We're going to interview Joshua. We're going to show highlights of the fight, highlights of the press conference. And we're also going to interview Reese, his trainer, Manny Robles, and his mother as well. And again, at 530, we're going to load, strike out, and clean up our things. If you look on the next page, these are the interview questions. I want to make sure that we have questions that are ha not just a yes or no, but we're going to need questions so that audience can feel exactly what each person we interview, where they feel, how do they feel, and having an audience coming back for more. Now, if you look on your last page, this is a shot list. This is for my ca camera operator. I want you to follow these shot lists so each shot will be directed to that person getting interviewed and the footage so the audience will be engaged as well. I want to thank you for running down my production plan, and y'all, take care. We're going to do this together.